Dr. Stephen Aldridge took control of the Office of Research and Development, ORD, in 1962 from Dr. Stephen Gottlieb. Aldridge started Project Often, an investigation into the occult with the help of Houston sorceress Sybil Leake. CIA behaviorists carefully studied every aspect of the occult underground. In 1972, the Scientific Engineering Institute, SEI, sponsored a course at the University of South Carolina in rituals of demonology and voodoo. The Scientific Engineering Institute was a CIA cutout that had been set up in 1956 to study radar. In 1962, the Scientific Engineering Institute set up a laboratory to study the effects of electrodes deep in the brain. Dr. Stephen Aldrich focused on remote brain manipulation and the occult, the twin threads that run through the SEI. In 1963, a CIA manual focused on radiohypnotic intracerebral control, RCIH, that was developed by the Pentagon. Quote, when a part of your brain receives a tiny electrical impulse from outside sources such as vision, hearing, etc., an emotion is produced, anger at the sight of a gang of boys beating an old woman, for example. The same emotions of fear can be created by artificial radio signals sent to your brain by a controller. You could instantly feel the same white-hot anger without any apparent reason. The term electronic dissolution of memory EDOM refers to the ability to erase memory at a distance. Dr. Jose Delgado announced on May 6, 1965, at a closed lecture at the American Museum of Natural History, quote, Science has developed a new electrical methodology for the study and control of cerebral function in animals and humans. MKUltra had 149 subprojects that encompassed nearly every aspect of human behavior and social science. In the 1977 Senate hearings on MKUltra, former CIA Director Admiral Stanfield Turner stated that the program took place in 80 institutions, including 44 universities, 15 private companies, 12 hospitals, and 3 prisons. The areas explored included radiation, electroshock, paramilitary devices and materials, anthropology, graphology, psychiatry, psychology, and sociology. MKUltra Project Subproject 119 was the foundation of all non-lethal weapons programs currently active and included a summary of five areas, one of which was entitled Techniques of Activation of the Human Organism by Remote Electronic Means. These are the very aspects that Dr. Jose Delgado had perfected in the, in the late 1950s and early 1960s. Techniques of Activation of the Human Organism by Remote Electronic Means. This memo was dated August 17, 1960, and when viewed with other evidence that was not destroyed, shows significant interest in radio frequency weapons and direct control of human behavior at a distance using radio frequency radiation and microwave technology. This aspect of the research is where the greatest modern emphasis has been rather than chemical or biological agents which were the initial concentration of MK Ultra, particularly LSD. Both chemical and biological agents violate existing treaties and leave physical traces. Project Pandora. In 1965, it was discovered that the U.S. Embassy in Moscow was being attacked with electromagnetic radi radiation in the microwave spectrum, but this fact was kept secret from the embassy employees. The U.S. Ambassador Stossel contracted a blood disease, bleeding eyes, nausea, and eventually lymphoma. He and other employees eventually died as a result of the microwave attack. Henry Kissinger sent a secret memo giving hazard pay to employ embassy personnel in the 1970s. The secret was exposed in a Jack Anderson column in 1972. It is possible that the U.S. government used the embassy staff as microwave guinea pigs. The Department of Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, ARPA, 
set up a laboratory at Walter Reed Army Institute of Research and participated in Project Pandora. Scientists began by zapping monkeys with microwave and radio frequency radiation to study the biological effects of these highly concentrated microwave frequencies. Similar studies were conducted at the VA Hospital in Kansas City, University of Rochester, Brooks Air Force Base in San Antonio, Texas, Johns Hopkins University, MIT, the MITRE Corporation, and the University of Pennsylvania, as well as many other domestic and foreign research laboratories. The CIA began experimenting with other forms of directed energy in the electromagnetic spectrum. Dr. Jose Delgado experimented on four human subjects using radio waves, reporting they had experienced different emotions, sensations, and colored visions. Delgado stated that these weapons were, quote, more dangerous than atomic destruction, unquote. With knowledge of the brain, he said, we may transform, we may shape, we may roboticize man. I think the great danger of the future is that we will roboticize human beings who are not aware that they have been roboticized. Dr. Delgado was in fact responsible for the development of a brain transponder that was used to roboticize human subjects.